Hi, I'm Corinne, and this is Free Press Fail. This weekend, United States Olympian Gwen Berry couldn't handle that she took bronze and hammer throwing, so she threw a huge fit. If you haven't read all about it, check out the Righteousness Porn section of our site because Jennifer gave a rundown of the whole snub. But basically, here's the deal. She turned her back on the American flag during the national anthem from her third place spot on the podium. At one point, she even put her shirt over her head like one of those really annoying toddlers that I would never offer to babysit. It was a total, very embarrassing tantrum. Allegedly, she did this because she was so disgusted by our national anthem, and I guess America in general too. Honestly, I'm a little bit baffled as to why an individual who dislikes our nation so much would totally voluntarily seek out a role to represent America on the world stage. You didn't want to be Team USA? Well, it's not like it's that easy to do. But even more confusing than that were the silly comments she made about the anthem. She said hearing it totally blindsided her. She told reporters that she felt like it was a setup. Um, has Gwen Berry just been getting blackout at every tailgate before every athletic event that has ever existed? Do they even do tailgates before track events? Seems shady, but I'm not going to tell anyone what to do. But come on, Gwen. Does she know who Colin Kaepernick is? I'm sure she's at least heard about players kneeling. No? Look, we have all had too much fun pre-gaming an actual game. Me more than anyone. I have a very low tolerance. But even for a lightweight like me, it's kind of hard to miss. The national anthem literally always plays. Before baseball games, before NFL games. Sometimes it plays before basketball games when Mark Cuban is not being an idiot. Pretty much always. Definitely plays at the Olympics. So I don't know why that was surprising to her. Seems like a silly excuse. But that's what it is. An excuse. We know the real truth is that Barry was obviously really mad that she lost. As we know, competitive sports are the greatest example of meritocracy that there's ever been in history. If you're the best, you win. The Olympics is absolutely the wrong platform to whine about systemic prejudice because it's all about raw talent. And if you don't have any of that, I guess you can throw an unimaginative woke tantrum. This is a trend with a lot of these social justice warrior athletes. Their best sponsorship days are behind them and the only way to make some money is to make a seriously ill-advised statement. Because let's remember, mostly let's remember because it really bothers Gwen and I want to bring it up as much as possible. Gwen Berry was not first place. She was not even second place. She was third place. And until she threw this major fit, there was not even a little bit of a chance that anyone was going to remember her. They probably still won't. 